The problem that I'm trying to address in the book is that you can't really start a country until you know that you are there legitimately. And the issue for me then is how do we establish that we're here because we belong here, because we're here to stay, because there's permission from the people who are already here for us to be here. There were agreements made, especially about the time of Confederation, treaty relations, which gave us permission to be on the land, and I consider those to be the founding documents, because they enable us to say, yes, we are not just usurping the land and coming onto it and building our own world. We are building a world in relationship to the people who are already here. In the version of the text that we now have, we go through the history and confederation becomes major and it's mostly about how we separated from Britain. And we see ourselves really in contrast to the Americans who are kind of the bad boys and girls who kind of broke away from the mother and did all these violent things. And we were really good and over time we got our independence and we should congratulate ourselves for that. I'm saying that that's nothing wrong with that history. But if we write it just in that way, we erase from the history the fact that the major relationship is with indigenous people. We have not well understood, and myself too, and I think I make that clear in the book, have not really well understood the profound differences in the way in which indigenous people understand relationships to each other, to, our, to us, to the world. It's a very difficult task for us because we are grounded in a culture that looks at the world in a, one particular way. And to be here to stay, it seems to me, means that we need to also open up to understanding this other way of looking at things, not necessarily to embrace it completely, but to figure out how to work well with people who hold that kind of view. And that's what I think is going to take a long time to do. And I try to start a little bit there by talking about the difference between starting thinking about building a political society by saying, who are the people who are all alike? And they put them together in one little container, and then we figure out what to do with them, and then we figure out what to do with the people in the next little container and how to relate to each other. As against the way of looking at things, which starts off by saying, hey, we're here together, let's build a container that works for all of us. And it doesn't matter whether we're different or the same, and it's not under the sanction of the state, it's because of the relations that we have developed amongst each other. That's kind of the thinking that I hope that we can begin to introduce into ourselves.